In this video, I want to show you how you can easily copy H5P activities from the repository or any other module that you have access to into your own module. So when you are in the H5P content repository, you can explore a variety of different H5P activities. For example, if you're looking at this one here and you are interested to also use it in your own module, you see up here in the top right corner this wheel and if you click on it, you find here this backup option. And this basically lets you to make a copy or download a copy of this activity and then afterwards upload it into a different module. There's a number of things you can check or uncheck here. Normally you don't really have to change anything and you just click through it until you reach perform backup. This goes really fast. It was created successfully. Then it just gives you a warning because you are here in a module where you do not have editing permissions. So you cannot do anything in, in terms of restoring what you just did into this module. You'll have to instead go to a different module, for example, your sandbox module or any other one that you have teacher or editing rights. And maybe then you want to import what you just backed up over here into this module. So you'll go to module management and restore. And then you'll get to the restore area where you'll see all the backed up files that you have created. For example, the ones that the one that I just backed up is this one up here. You can tell a little bit by the kind of content that it is, in this case, an H5P activity. And so this is the one that I want to restore into this current module. So I click restore. And again, you have a number of options here in terms of what is actually being restored. Then you have to choose which module you want to restore it into. And here you will only have listed the ones where you have editing rights, which is going to be uh, usually including your sandbox or any other modules that you're currently a teacher in. So we click the module, continue. Again, you can uncheck a couple of things here. And then finally perform restore. And then you will see this activity in your actual module.